Hello, welcome to the Moon Dweller and welcome to the second week of April in your Moon Dweller calendar journal. Let's take a look at what this week's cycle has in store for us according to what's going on in our skies. So the first thing you will notice is that our weekly circles for this month of April are starting on Thursdays. I know it's weird to be starting our weeks on a Thursday and not a Monday, but this is actually really good for us because it's forcing our brain to work harder to keep those neuron pathways going on. And it's also disconfiguring our perception of time, which I think is really good for us because um, it's it's um, allowing us to to experience time and to see things in a new point of view, which I think um, opens us up to more opportunities that life can offer us. Now let's take a look at your zodiac grid system and your moon dweller calendar journal at the very bottom of the page to take a look at this week's focus words to get an idea of this week's or this cycle's theme. And these words are here to help us understand the expression or feeling of what that moon can be offering us at that particular time. We are starting this week off with a waning moon which is our cosmic exhale. So the moon is decreasing in light and we are sweating out, drying out, um, and detoxing out. And our waning moon is in the sign Pisces, giving us the word compassion. And this perfectly correlates for the moon dweller's affirmation of the month, which is I am responding with compassion and love. And so it's important to, to acknowledge that the sign Pisces is a water element and it's bringing us into such, you know, in a spiritual and ethereal sphere of, um, of like no bounds or no limits. And so to be able to really fully understand compassion, not only holding it for ourselves, but also holding it for other people. I'm responding with compassion. Um, allow this sign in Pisces to help you understand that there are no bounds or limits to love and to compassion, to, to really understand the, um, just like the true meaning of what this can mean. And Pisces is going to really help us to do that. Then our waning moon moves into the sign Aries, giving us the word action. So the first day it's in Aries, it's still a waning moon, but the second day it's in Aries, which is in the 11th, it, it reaches its maximum darkness. So we have our new moon. And um, naturally just the inherent nature of what the new moon can offer us is bringing in fresh new energies and so the combination of um aries wanting to do that and this new moon wanting to do that we have some powerful um you know strong abilities to force new ideas new creativities new action just like energy 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 and new beginnings so this is a really fantastic um new moon to work on for launching new projects or new affirmations, self-assertions, whatever new energy you need to put into your life. And um, in my newsletter and the fire portal video, I will also be talking about making your own, uh, if you've seen the anime cartoon, the Dragon Ball Z. So making your own um, Z ball and um, launching that energy forth and that'll also go with um, Qigong practice. So make sure you sign up for my newsletter so you don't miss out on your Dragon Ball Z. Then after the new moon, it transitions into its waxing phase, which is our cosmic inhale. So the moon is building back up into its light until it reaches its full moon. And so um, when it does go into its waxing phase, it moves into the sign Taurus, giving us the word stabilization, which I think is such a perfect follow-up word after our, you know, action, fresh energy, new energy for the work we did in the new moon. 
So let's look at a platform. Let's get some structure in our lives. And also on the 14th, Venus moves into the sign Taurus, which is an extremely happy place for it to be because it is ruled by the planet Venus. And also when the moon is in Taurus, it is exalted. So this is another extremely happy place. So the 14th is going to be an incredibly magical, magical, happy day for Taurus um, and Taurus is an earth element and with its rulership of Venus being beauty and love we're thinking of the earth as the artist finding beauty in nature and um, also what's important to do on the 14th is any self-care rituals to help you and this will in turn help us to create that stabilized platform because you know we're getting grounded with ourself we're taking care of ourselves, and so let your beauty shine on the 14th so that is this week's cycle we are experiencing three different phases of the moon and we are also experiencing three different elements we start off with pisces with a waning moon in our water element and so we're starting in the deep um, water ethereal places of Pisces for the word compassion and then um, we go into our new moon with the sign Aries for our fire element and we are living and breathing in those flames those really transformative action forthgoing flames and then we bring our energy back into the earth for the Taurus and it's a waxing moon and we are regrounding, recentering ourselves and also for the Venus and Taurus taking good care of ourselves and finding a beautiful ritual. So that is it and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week for week three. Thank you.